Good to be back. We are going to go around the room and introduce ourselves to ones who do not know. <laughs> to my left, Mr. Papa J. That's me. <laughs> Yo, guys, what's up? It's me, Papa J, all goddamn day. Uh, it's nice to be back. Yes. And I've missed this so much. <sighs> Feels good. Yes. My left. <laughs> to my right. New breed. New, new breed. You already know. It's been a while. <laughs> Happy to be back. Yes, indeed. Almost a new year. Yeah. New shit. We are, in this episode, going to talk about 2018 <laughs> rap albums. This was yes. a big <laughs> fucking year for rap. Huge. Holy shit big. Yeah, we got a lot of different things happening. A uh, lot of highs and lots of lows. Ooh. Oh, God, the lows. Indeed. Uh, now, we all have compiled lists of uh, one to five, or five to one, I guess would be more accurate to say. One is the beast. Yeah, one is the beast. <laughs> and, uh, and five would be the worst. But it does not mean it is a bad album. It just means out of the plethora that has been dropped in 2018, uh, these are the best, in our opinion. Uh, maybe you share it. Maybe you disagree. Please uh, become active. You know, we want to hear you we so we can talk us. about. Yeah, shoot topics yes. out. Love to hear what people think. If you want to hear us talk about or argue about. If you argue with us online, I will personally shit talk you. <laughs> That'll be comments from me. Nah. I <laughs> uh, here's the thing. Do what you want. It should be fun mm-hmm. regardless. But we're going to jump right into this. So I guess we're going to start to my left. Jordan, out of uh, all the albums that you were listing, you know, 2018, big year for rap, what tickled you but didn't make your list? But didn't make my didn't list. Didn't make your list. Well, um, this might come as a shockity shock shock, but uh, Kamikaze? Did not make your list? Did not make my list. Okay. It would have been number six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I'm not mad at that at all. Yeah, that, that, it's a reasonable placement. It's so hard. It's a fire album. I do listen to a bunch of the tracks like mm-hmm. every day. Mm-hmm. But um, honestly, I get I get a little tired of it. Get a little tired of it. I can hear so. that. I can see. I can see that. But it's still a fucking dope album for sure. Like it's a strong ass opening. Fucking yelling at the mic with his uh, wanna punch the fucking world. <laughs> <laughs> He sounds like a pissy teenager sometimes. That album, though, is uh, Venom. Venom. Oh <laughs> that, shit, that shit is catchy, bro. Yeah. Yo, you like that song? You Venom like that? is catchy, y'all. Oh, like, my God. God. Tell me you like Venom. It sounds... <laughs> oh, you guys don't like Venom? Okay, it's one of the corniest songs on the whole thing. It's day. like... It's, the, the hook is this so catchy, though. It sounds like a motocross. It sounds like he's humming the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> That's what I do in the car. <laughs> no, I, wait, it is catchy. It is catchy to some degree. When I heard it, I was like, yeah, it could maybe get stuck. Head, but the music video was like goofy. Oh my really? God. Yeah, the music was video was based, goofy. As it was based shit. off the movie, though. Y- yeah, it was oh goofy. As shit. God. <laughs> yeah, that, there was a couple <laughs> times where like two people just completely didn't care about the plot or what Eminem was driving towards in the music video, and just started like doing their own thing in the camera. We're like, yeah, like yeah, people back home, like yeah. <laughs> you can just Grandpa see it. Killed it like, Grandpa oh, killed it. Grandpa killed it. Grandpa did kill it. People like mouth the words, which honestly, his verses in the song weren't bad. His, yeah, yeah. his performance on the Empire, uh, the State Building performance was good. If you guys seen that one, but it's pretty I, uh, dope. Yeah, he performed the Venom on the, uh, what was the Kimmel show? Was it Jimmy Kimmel he was doing? I it? think so. It's either yeah, that he, or Jimmy Fallon. That yeah, was a dope w- performance, though. We are playing a little game in this podcast where if someone mentions an album that didn't make their list and that made someone else's list, yeah. can't say where, but it is. And I can say, which big fucking surprise, white boy in the room, <laughs> uh, Kamikaze ha. was on my list. Hmm. Maybe a lower. <laughs> Maybe lower. Uh, lower. Or higher. Higher. Lower. Lower. <laughs> Be higher. Lower. You're not getting lower than off my list. So. Yeah, which it almost was. It was almost <laughs> off. But, like, <coughs> I thought about a couple key things, and I was like, all right, you know what? And when it is my turn, I will... I will. I, are we just going to pick apart the albums as we go? Right? That's the whole point. A little, 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 little. Let's just go uh, wait until after. Yeah, because we're, we're doing your list. 
Yeah. And we're hitting. Yeah, so we're going to hit you first and then we're going to shoot to go under and then I'll guess I'll go last. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Sounds Gucci. All right. So, Kamikaze did not make your list. Nope. So, that's an honorable mention, basically. Pretty much. Also, um, another good thing, not on my list, but still a really good, uh, basically a rap album released by Kendrick, but in did the he, form of the Black Panther yes, soundtrack. Yes, the soundtrack. I was going to say, yeah. Kendrick dropped this year? Because, <laughs> yeah, no, the well, soundtrack. Well, he actually oh, organized okay, the whole okay. album, but it, a bunch of fire tracks oh. came off of that. Yeah, he organized the whole album. So many saying, features. Wow. Like You would think that it was straight up a legit album. And it was mm. so good. Uh, I didn't even see the movie, but I, <laughs> I heard the soundtrack. <laughs> that wow. shit was fine. Uh, another honorable mention uh, in two weeks off, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> oh my god! <gosh. laughs> Plugging me a little bit. I like the shout out. I'm gonna throw. I'm just gonna throw it out there a little <laughs> bit. It, there was an album dropped named Two Weeks Off. Maybe it was all capitals off. Maybe it was dropped by one Nick Nubs. Maybe <laughs> it's available on everything. Possible. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> um, <laughs> but um, you ready for the list, guys? You ready to make the list? Number five on my list is K.O.D. by J. Cole. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay. I'm glad it made okay. the top five. That is great. Shit. Yo, I fucking bump track that album is so every fire. day. There is so, so many fire. great singles off of that fucking Love He's that such project. a fire lyricist. He really is. He really is. Like, no. Uh, yeah. Go for it. It's about the features this man did this year. Crazy. You know how right? many songs he's a part of this year? He's been. I couldn't believe it. But nobody features on his, really. Well, Kill nothing. Edward featured twice on his album. Whoever that may be. <laughs> yeah. But he apparently featured twice. Yeah, can we just go through the, the amazing track? KOD, Fire, Fire. KOD. Photograph, Absolute yes. Fire. Uh, the Cutoff, another good one. ATM, obviously, the like, fire is. Yeah. I feel like that's his anthem. Off, that's like the biggest. That single was like off the biggest it. single it was. Yeah, motivate also stands motivate with that one. Motivate was with it. Yeah. yeah, which I think when you have it's competing the same kind of vibe singles, too. like yeah. you're really killing it as yeah. in the album. Like in my opinion, that's that would go towards <laughs> points of like you're making a better album. Kevin's heart music video Kevin, accompanied, yeah. brilliant, really great. good song. And not fire. to mention putting. Kevin Hart in the video. I'm um, so yeah. fucking smart. Shout out Kevin yeah. Hart for being down. Yeah, small claps for Kevin Hart for taking that one on the chin, honestly. Because like, Bro. you know, that was all. Referencing, like that. That, was, that was all referencing his cheating thing. Did you just slap your lips? He definitely did. <laughs> um, then we got uh, brackets. Once an addict, friends, window pane, mm -hmm. and then Windowpane his response shit. to Lil 1985, Pump. 1985. 1985. Right. Yo, yeah. shout out to YB and Corday for body in that record too. Yo, for real. But that whole situation, mm. the whole situation with Lil Pump calling out J. Cole and J. Cole taking it like, you know, I'm I worry about no old head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking garbage. <laughs> yeah, it was funny when they did the interview with each other. Did you see yeah, that? Was, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's just, just like talking to a child. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, so uh, when did you decide that you wanted to do rap? And he was like, well, it was right around the time I was drinking lean and telling my stepdad to go fuck himself. Uh, and my mom was like, why are you dropping out of school? And I was like, fuck you, mom. And, he, and J. Cole's like kind of sitting there like, oh, all right, well, I don't do any of that. <laughs> much yeah, smarter I don't know than what any, that's about. Yeah, much smarter than any of those moves. <laughs> all right, young man. But yeah, he bodied him in 1985. So all in all, that's my number five. K.O.D., like J. Cole. I like it. I like no, it. No, I love it. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah, it. yeah, yeah. See, I knew you guys would like some of my list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> number four, um, definitely some fire. The Carter Five, <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably the most i, the biggest moment probably of the year. Yeah, no, that man came through hard as hell. Yeah, we, we waited years. Roar. This nigga snuck us. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, for real. Like, okay, the thing he is, bodied the album too. That's the that's he the crazy part. He bodied the album and just came up, smacked us, and got the TK. Silence all the yeah. critics that tell him that he should retire. Yo, for right, real. yo, because Eminem <laughs> was struggling at the exact same point in time with the Revival age thing. And shit, yeah. yeah, and then and then Lil Wayne shows up and he's just like, okay, so here's what's up. Uh, not only am I going to outdo almost every tape I've ever put out, <laughs> but I'm going like, to do outdo most rappers. In I the game love right the now. project, dude. Man. He ripped those dudes apart. Yo, when he came at him with like, I started this shit. You just parted this shit. Mona Lisa. That's a uh, dedicate. Oh my god, that was dedicate. You were singing. Yeah, this dedicate now. is Yo, one of the dopest fucking tracks fucking ever. Plus, it opens with a skit of his mom being like, yeah, "Everyone's yeah, yeah. pumped to hear your album, yeah. sweetie. I can't wait." You know how I like? Oh, I, I didn't tear I up, but Wayne. I could have teared up. Don't cry was track two, right? No, one of the weaker. 
favorite it, tracks in my opinion. You like Don't Cry? I love that record. I enjoy the record. What it's a okay, weird yeah. But yeah. if I'm going X through the best on this tape, I was, don't listen to the Don't It was cry. dark and moody. Very sad kind of yeah, like Yeah, I don't li- I don't want sad vibes. I want to get that bag, feel me? <laughs> what the fuck, though? <laughs> Wedicate the is the vibe. If Uproar. It, yeah. Uh, yo, he had this one. Oh, uh, Took His Time. Took God his took time, his time. Took his time. Made me. Can't, be, can't be broken. Can't be broken. Uh, yo, that was another. Favorite. Yo, I honestly thought he brought him back to 2000 yeah. with the fucking uproar because that beat it hit, it, like, hit in. And I was like, and what? arguably, no, not arguably, the biggest track off of it everyone loves is probably the Kendrick feature. Yeah, Mona, Mona Lisa, Lisa yeah. which is so oh intelligent. I've never God. heard, you know, I never heard Wayne rap like that before, yo. Yo, he Bro. ripped that shit. He was tell, he was, I never heard him, I never heard Wayne story tell before. Bro, he brought <laughs> rap back to its roots with that one because he's yeah. telling an actual fucking story. story. He was he bodying it too. The old, old, old heads back in the G funk type time. She ain't no angel. I treat that. They treat that halo <laughs> like a frisbee. Exactly. That shit was hard. That yo, was hard, nah, yeah. he's the whole thing about sneaking up. I catch you with your jaws down. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Yo, man. oh my god. And, and then, then Kendrick, Kendrick, the way he just like sounded like a little simp. Bitch, yeah, yeah, he was doing so good, yo. <laughs> he played the part of the bitch in the oh, story. Shit. Like the guy gets robbed and the one who gets played. He has a hissy fit. Has his little hissy. I didn't think he was serious. Not a best Still cutting bars. Right <laughs> yeah, no, Kendrick is so <laughs> talented he can literally not even try. He can literally be mumbling it, tears man. coming down his face and still be ripping it like a fucking beast. Literally, his his wordplay, yeah. his structure. He's incredible. <laughs> Kendrick is definitely one of the dopes. Um, <laughs> start this shit off right. Also, another really good one off that tape. That's one and with Shanti, right? Demon was another good one, and Demon, also yeah. hitters. It is uh, 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 Dark Side of the Moon, Fire. Yeah, honestly, the uh, entire What's the thing. one? Uh, this is one I really love. With Snoop Dogg? No, that not track that one. Snoop Dogg was hot. That yeah. was great, too. This, the, uh, the one that was supposed to have Post on it. Well, he did drop the, uh, the, origi- uh, the, the next version with Post, but... He dropped? He was supposed um, to drop a Post? Yeah, the, there's one record on there that was supposed to have Post Malone and Drake on it. It's the one he's singing. <clears throat> I will spend my life with you. Some uh, shit like that. I, what about me? What about me? Uh, or yeah, what, sure, sure, what, sure. Is that what it's called? I believe so. I pulled away the track. Oh, uh, shit. I think I said it wrong, but... No, there's a lot of tracks off that tape. Yeah, it's yeah, really a long record. one. It's Which, a long one. But that's what I wanted. I loved it. I loved I it. Wanted, I, we were all hungry for Wayne. I'm tired of that seven-track <laughs> seven track BS. Yeah, no. All he, right, gave me a, he gave me a real yeah, album. I like okay. long albums. I've said that before. I, I fucking will, love hour longs. I agree. Oh, man. Length definitely is dope when you are Lil Wayne. I, if I, you're I someone like Pusha T, seven tracks would make say. sense for the market. So it makes sense that he did that. I want a long album from Lyricist. I don't. I can't hear like Migos has like did like 25 songs on Pusha <laughs> T. I can't hear. I, I can't. Hear, I, I can't listen to that 25 songs of Migos. I can't. Same color T-shirt. Yeah, I fucking do it, bro. <laughs> Brain drop or future these guys. Know, yeah. I, I if you're rapping, let's, let's, now, let's continue with your list. Upset. Absolutely. Upset. I'm upset. <laughs> yeah. Offset. Upset. Yeah, We're at three, he, right? Offset was right. upset, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Big sad boy. I'm sorry. Take me back. Uh, Looking like the prom king wearing that cake. <laughs> yeah. He comes out. He's just like, oh well, uh, yo, I'm sorry, bro. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he calls about, it, bro. <laughs> bro. The interference of Cardi shit. <laughs> yo, if I was Cardi, I'd be like, so you cheated on me, and then you That's interrupted crazy. my concert to call me, bro. <laughs> crazy. All right, all right, all right, guys. Number Trey. Number Trey. Number Trey. Trace. We got the TA-1300 by Denzel Curry. I was not expecting that. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, that Fuck definitely was yeah, a curveball, absolutely. Yeah, he hit me I up. Fuck with Denzel Curry mm, first of all. I haven't heard the album a lot to be honest with you. Bruh. Yeah, I've never heard it up. All right, what's it called? It's it's uh, over there. It's, it's called right there. What's it no, called? it's Tattoo? on the right. It's right there. It's like, it's oh, it's tattoo, tattoo with right? the thirteen. Yeah. Ooh. yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. The whole thirteen shit's like really common. It's really weird. Numbers period are common in rappers' names now. Yeah, man. Okay. Also uh, objects and phrases. Yeah, right. So many rappers with phrases as a name. <laughs> you know, okay, so we got Taboo, Black Balloons, Cash Maniac, Sumo. I've heard Bro, Sumo. Sumo's hard. <coughs> Sumo is my shit. Super Saiyan? Uh, I feel like I've heard that one. Too. Yeah, man. You got to explain into this ball. Switch it up. Shit. Mad I Got It. Sirens. Clout Cobain, Clout which Cobain obviously is, is the, the single. biggest banger. Yeah. Mm. Uh, curl it, Kurt Cobain. Uh, the blackest balloon. The blackest balloon. <laughs> the blackest. Perks, yeah. vengeance, and black metal terror. Yeah, they give you a full album. Yeah, it's fucking wow. fire. Front to back. I definitely gotta check it out. Uh, according to Google, it says ninety-eight percent like this album. That's exactly. Awesome. That's, That's exactly. Awesome. Good job. Small class or Denzel Curry? Yeah. yeah fuck yeah, Denzel Curry. Can we guess Curry. the small class the second time? Yo, fast. Denzel. And no Listen, one's I'll, I'll <laughs> 
No, small claps. Yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Not to be a dictator about the small claps, but small snaps. Small snaps. Yo, but real talk. Yo. Real good on him for the glow up because mm. he's come a long way from like being a meme. Let's not forget. Yeah. This nigga was a meme. He. I am the one. Don't need the gun. Don't weigh a ton. That was the, yeah, that's yeah. right. That was Denzel Curry. Yeah. Wow. Still dropping fire, but nah, that was a dope song though. I like fire it. <laughs> that was a meme, and now he's just fire. This is number two now, right? Number two. Um, this should come as a shock to nobody. White Bronco, by Action Bronson. Oh wow. yeah, fire track, fire tape. Probably a very slept on project considering how much dropped this year. What's up? Probably a slept on project considering how much projects dropped this year. Yeah, there's a lot of shit yeah. that came out. No, there's a lot. He uh, snuck that. That dropped on November 1st. So it's still relatively new wow. in regards to when we're recording right now. Wow. Um, he did a, a teaser a couple months out, uh, the title track, White Bronco. And um, <clears throat> you could tell okay. he's doing a lot of experimentation with uh, hallucinogenics <laughs> and psychedelics. <laughs> 92% like this album. Nice. Uh, Dr. Kimball, Irish Freestyle. Irish Freestyle, the shit. Mount yeah. Etna. Mount Etna. Live from the Moon, featuring Young Thug, I guess. I was going to say, yeah. I was just about to ask, any special features on this project? Uh, he's got Mayhem Lauren, Big Body Bass, of course, and ASAP Rocky is actually on Swerve on him, which is nice. the last. Mm-hmm. ASAP Rocky is one of the dokest slept, not Rocky slept on, but is, he's so quiet. He doesn't do much. Yeah, that's the thing. And Rocky can, he's really good. He can really, he can spit. Potato Salad is one of, by far, Yo, the dopest hip hop tracks. Yeah. Wait a so minute. Hard, yeah. Am I, am I retarded, guys? Did uh, Flower Boy come out this year? Flower uh, Boy, um, uh, blah, 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 yeah, I want to say last year. Yeah, I almost feel like it was. I feel like it came out at the end of last year. Otherwise, 2017. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Okay. Because that would have been on my list. Yeah, no, that was a great album, too. Um, Let's see. Are we at number one? Are we at number one? We're at number one. It's time for drum rolls. <laughs> my number one is Vacation in Hell, Flatbush uh, Zombie. Is that this, wait, wait, wait. Was that this year? That was this year. Are you positive? I swear uh, to you that's this year. Are you positive that was this year? Hold on. I'm Ooh. I'm 99.99% sure. We got guy. to see if your percentages are on point, man. 2018, he's correct. Was it? What, what month? It must have been early April, as well. April, t- uh, six. Yeah, it was in the beginning of oh, the year. Oh, wow. 99% like this. God, exactly. Yeah, this was, that was a great tape. I love that project. Front to end. That was it's a good a fire project. Album. The features are pr- the fire, too. That was on my honorable mentions. Shit. Yeah. He yeah. messed me up. Hey, that is a great Dude. album, though. <laughs> Thanks. They, uh, they fucking hit me sideways with uh, Headstone. Oh, and um, That's my shit. They came out with such lyrical, like, oh, shit. This Body is shit. smacking. Yeah, All of the... Um, the Bum B feature, the Jada feature. Junkie yeah. Fire, Features Headstone awesome. Fire. Yeah. Denzel was on that project, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's in the glory. That's shit what he's was hard, doing. man. No, this that the whole tape honestly was really good. I liked all right, Hello yeah. Fire, Chunky Fire, Vacation with Joey Badass oh, Fire, dude, and Bison, what a change fire. in a fucking song. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's so amazing. What are they yeah. singing? What are yeah. they singing? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. But, but they dope. They're, they're doing the modern thing, which is so sick. Headstone, dope as fuck. One of the best tracks. Headstone's Big body. Shrimp was dope. Big Leather shrimp. Symphony Big is shrimp cool. Is right. ASAP, yeah. I think, is on that one too. ASAP 12, you right? Uh, yeah, I believe yeah. so. Yeah, 12, he's on that one. Real Girls featuring Bun. I've heard the album so many times, so I can tell you. That's right. That one's fire, man. He put me on. He put me on to that Facts. shit. Facts. Yeah. Yeah, that's Facts is one man. of the dopest tracks off Facts. the Facts. Yeah, that's my shit, yeah. Ask Courtney is also fire. Crown. I actually put this one right in my playlist. It was just a really pretty song. Proxies, yeah, You and I, The Goddess, mm-hmm. Trapped, mm-hmm. Best American. Misunderstood. You are my sunshine, and then the glory. That's shit, man. It's a great project. No, that was fucking actually, fire. So That's that my, is your number one. That is my favorite album to be released this year. <sighs> All right. Well, you know what, man? That was uh, great. That was great. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. We go to my right. Ah shit. It is new, new breeds. Get, get, get Glenroy. List of the top five honorable rap mentions, albums. my friend. Yeah, starting with the honorable mentions. Shit, see, the fifth one's gonna vary, but I'm, I think I'm gonna yeah. just throw one as a fifth, but I'll go with the honorable mentions first. There's quite a few honorable mentions, damn it. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna go with, uh, I agree, M's Kamikaze, as hard as it is, I'm gonna say that was an honorable mention as well. Mm-hmm. Great album, though, great album. My, I love that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. Uh, I'm gonna go with Royce the 5'9", Book of Ryan. 
as hard as that is too. Booker Ryan versus the versus five, five nine. nine. Versus great, five great nine. project. One of the very slept on lyricists in the game. Oh, that's so hard to do, but he's. I'm gonna throw him as I'm a mentor for now. Um, Yo, Evil Genius. This I'm gonna go with off. Evil Genius by uh, Gucci was like. I liked it, but it wasn't better than his last project. Fire, but like not as fire. It was like there was like 18 songs on it. I enjoyed eight of them. But like, shout out to that feature with Bruno Mars and. That, oh yeah, that, I love Kodak that record. Black. Yo, yeah. Such a song. Came out of nowhere too. Wake up in the sky. That's my shit. Yeah, that. Yeah, that was. I'm sorry, song. Glenn. No, you're fine, bro. I'm gonna go. Uh, I gotta say, Drake Scorpion is an honorable mention mm-hmm. for me too. Great project too. Doesn't that make sense. Doesn't make so hard, okay. bro. Okay. Um. And I gotta go with uh, I had another honorable mention in my head just now. Swiss Beast Poison. I'm not sure if you guys know about that one. Yeah, I feel like I have. I, I that was a great. Something. That was a great I one have too. Been left sleeping on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Swiss Beast Poison. Mm-hmm. It was pretty fire, man. He had some interesting uh, records on there, including one with uh, Jadakiss, Styles P, and Kendrick Lamar on the same record. What but Kendrick was just fuck? on the hook of it, which kind of disappointed me. I wanted him to spit, but it's okay. Yeah, when Kendrick just did ad libs <laughs> for J-Rock. <laughs> yeah, I was so disappointed. Whoa, I was like, Yo, whoa, whoa. whoa. Like, yeah. Oh, I was on win. <laughs> but win. Which, yeah. win, 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 win. Which we're going to get to, by the way. Yeah, okay, okay. We're oh, gonna shit. Get to, yeah. oh, shit. We're going to get to that I shit. I knew it. Oh, man. So, uh, you want, am, are you guys ready for the five? So give us, give the us five the five. One? Give us five. All right, five in the fifth spot. I'm going with Wayne's Carter five. Fuck yeah. I got to throw Wayne's Carter five in All the right. fifth spot. It made the list. It, it shit, made man. both our lists. That, Wayne, that shit, man. He proved a lot. He proved a lot, man. Yeah, he did. I mean, not that he really had anything to prove already, but no, that but he shit was he just... shut the fucking yeah, he shut the critics down. down. <laughs> he yeah, he's, he's like, I am little Wayne. Oh, you know, man. I'm gonna say this. Yeah. Uh, young Jordan jamming out uh, to Lollipop back in 2009. Yeah, uh, yeah. Would have never movie. thought. <laughs> he would hold this place in hip hop. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah not 100%. for nothing. I thought he was just like a come and go, whatever. Yeah. Man. Nah, and then like Carter Two changed my mind when, when I when time, I really yeah. got into Carter Two. I was like, this man's one of the best. When I actually did a deep yeah. dive on uh, Carter Three, yeah. yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> oh shit! This man's lyrical as fuck. Carter yeah. Four was hated and slept on. It was, was very like, slept on. Carter some Four dope was fire. Shit on that too. Carter yeah, Four like, was fire. They, they forget about that one. I don't understand yeah. why. Yeah, it's, and then all of a sudden Carter Five comes out. He's the best again. He's a Carter goat. Five, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Carter Five. Definitely that is fucking the newest. Goat. Yeah, Carter, man. Carter Four though, blunt blowing, uh, the views. Abortion, yeah. I think another she one. She will was on there. She will was mm-hmm. such a dumb track with Drake, all, right? All yeah. the and the the, uh, the interludes on that project where he was had where he had other rappers spitting there in the interludes. Yeah, including Tech Nine was on one of them actually. Yeah, yo, that, yeah, that, the, the, uh, Andre Three K was on. Three K was on the yeah. same one. Yeah, yo, those are some those great are some Shout out to oh Tech God. for dropping an album this year. Did he <laughs> was Planet this year? Mm-hmm. Yo, Jordy, you gotta stop doing this shit, man. <laughs> God, damn, I thought it was last year. <laughs> So, uh, so number five for you is Carter. It's Carter five, man. Yeah. What, what um, do we do for four? Four. Now this is gonna shake y'all heads crazy. Cardi B's invasion of privacy, man. Hey. Say what you want, but okay. She got busy, man. I got, she's on my honorable. She's on my honorable. That was fire. Yeah. You you really hear that shit? <laughs> this shit is really fire, bro. Nah, she's. I mean, like, oh man. I won't lie. I can jam <laughs> out to some Cardi. Cardi got busy, man. She, her features? Oh, my gosh. Her I body's just features. Fuck Agreed. Though. Absolutely, 100%. She's making a name for herself. She really is, man. She, yeah. she belongs. I don't like, fuck with the human being. <laughs> no, her and Nikki, Ooh. that whole beef. Right I side with crazy. Nikki. Sorry, guys. You said I side with Nikki. <laughs> Nikki I took do. a bite I, out of her. I go with Queen instead of Yo. you know, up and you'll be new. Did you, did you hear Nikki on Funk Flex? I did. I did. <laughs> Yo, she yes. fucking ate her. <laughs> We don't know what it's like to sit in your house and make raps. <laughs> crazy, man. He fucking called her on every. Yo, she went off. She's crazy. like airing out her business. So I was like, whoa. And the Funk Flex was like laughing still in her face. <laughs> well, Funk Flex has a habit of just hyping shit. Yeah, but like, yo, she was getting mad as hell, and he was literally sitting there just still like giggling away. And she, and eventually oh, you could hear it. Like you can't obviously see it, yeah. but you could hear when she like directed that shit right in. Oh my goodness. And he got real quiet. He was like, oh. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Well. She's doing all those crazy voices in the booth. She's scary, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> she's yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, so she's Cardi scary. B. Cardi, Cardi B. B. She's number four. She's okay. Four, no, there was a great. There was great tracks. Drip. 
was fire. Drip drip. Oh, man, drip, 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 drip. I loved it. Uh, fucking obviously her main song. Yeah. Uh, I like it. What? She got a new single out. Uh, yellow the, the, Bodak. The shit with Kalani. Bodak Yellow. Bodak the, Yellow. The, I don't know. I switched. Bodak, Bodak Yellow. Yeah. <laughs> the ring shit with Kalani's fire too. Invader. What was the actual Cardi B project uh, called? Invasion of, of Privacy. Invaders. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which was a cool name. I, I like liked that. It. The we- it was a weird album cover, but it got your attention. I loved it. Yeah. All right. So that was number four. Who's number three? Number three. J. Cole's KOD. Hey. Uh-huh. Yeah, great. Yeah. It's two for two. Great placement, man. Yeah. I got to say, man, I, not, we already, you know, KOD was just fire, man. That's all I got to say. Yeah, we already yeah. went through the track. Was <laughs> uh, so now we are at number two, Dose. J. Rock's, uh, what's, what was Redemption, the, uh, I Redemption, I believe. Redemption. Yeah. 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 friend. J. Rock, that well, album was well, so impressive, well, Also, man. on my honor, bro. One of my break, Jordan, per, uh, personal list of uh, breakout stars for me. J Rock came out of nowhere, and I yeah, fucked J Rock is always yeah. He's just uh, well, very he's been underrated. Kendrick's people for a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just so never heard him until um, uh, what was it? Vice City. So no, when? no. Or the last album, yeah. No, until uh, he was on the Black Panther album. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. Really? That, that was yeah. that long. Nah, I was kind of on J Rock a little bit because he's fucking dope. Like he has a lot of great tracks. I like then I heard Win and it sealed me in. <laughs> yeah, Win. Win is hard. If you want to just make your life better, start every day. <laughs> Celebration is right there. Yeah, that's 100%. fucking positivity. <laughs> we are at numero uno on Glenroy's list of top five 2018 rap or hip hop. Or maybe even R&B albums. And here we are. I looked up that. Number one album goes to Meek Mill Championship. Right Body the project, right man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Slaughtered. Now there's an entire. Meek came back with a vengeance. A uh, new level. Oh, man. Now uh, there's so many. What's free? Oh it's yeah. Like nobody can tell one of my all-time favorite oh Biggie songs God. off of my all-time favorite Biggie album. Yo, I lost my mind when he did that. Yes. <laughs> and then Jay was on it. And Jay, Jay had, Jay had, Jay had one of the best verse. verses like everyone. That yo, was a dope verse from Hope. His verse was so hard. People are still going crazy about they it. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and plus, then, he came right out of jail. That's a Cinderella yeah. story right there. Like, yo. Drake was on there too. We got a Meek and Drake record again. Yeah, yeah, for real, for real. Beef was squashed. We got the Rico Cardi. was fire. Rico was off the other project. Yeah, Rico's off the other project. But Rico was like, I think was that one. One of their first collabs? That was no. Uh, they collabed before that too. They did a record called Amen off yes. of uh, Dreams yeah, and Nightmares. Yeah, 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 I remember that. I remember that record. With all uh, Jeremiah was on that record. They too. usually mesh well. They do great chemistry, which I'm yeah. waiting for a Meek and Drake project. So please do it. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. Yes. Let's make it <laughs> Championships, uh, man. So champion, champion. The samples, the features. Cardi was on it. Drake, Ho, Ross. The list goes on. Mm. Yeah, championships oh, man. was absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's that. Oh, all man. right, that is fantastic. <laughs> Wow. As hey, uh, Mr. Nick Nubs. <laughs> <laughs> Could you share your list, please? Yes, oh, indeed. Yeah, uh, starting in honorable mentions, um, surprised you guys didn't mention Astro World. I was gonna say that in my in my yeah. honorable mentions. That's the one I forgot to say. Yeah. No. Nah, there's there was you a gotta lot. Give the, I gotta give it to Travis too. Between uh, Yosemite. There was, uh, I'm trying to think of all the, the titles. Sicko Obviously, Sicko Mode. mode. Um, Those beats, There man. was a couple really I like, great uh, ones. What's the one called? Star, is it called Stargazer? Stargazer, yeah. That's, that's another shit. great one. I don't that's like when rappers right. name their shit all these complicated things because I'm like, trying to remember. I can't do it. Like, But at the same time, the tape is like supposed to be like a carnival situation. He was talking yeah. about conceptually. It's supposed to be this conceptually. Thing. Well, you can always do really fucking dope. You yeah. can always do basic ass names like Six Nine did on his project. Yo, Tell me, boy. Kiki, Yo, uh, Kiki Wazi. Mama, yeah. We're gonna do a, an upside down <laughs> shout out to uh, Six Nine. Yo, his album actually wasn't really that bad though. Honestly, it was just too short. It was, but it yeah, was, yeah. It was All a right. track. Uh, real <laughs> talk. He's a piece of garbage. <laughs> however, I, mean, I you know. However, his, his tracks slap. He got energy. He got energy. That's what it is. If That's you want to feel hype, he's going to bring you hype energy. I just want a different flow. It's like every song, I get the exact same flow. Uh, well, Even if it's a poppy record, well, he I still know, hit yeah. me with that same screaming flow. Yeah. It doesn't matter. He doesn't give a shit. No, Blicky says, always needs to have the stiffy. The Blicky up. always gets the, the sticky. Blicky. The bitchy always gets the sniffy. Licky, licky. Licky, licky, licky on his dicky. Whatever the fuck. Stupid. <laughs> you stupid. Yeah, no, there, I said that got honorable mention uh, without Show World. 
Um, actually, another honorable mention was Kids See Ghost. Another that was okay. on uh, okay. that was on my list okay. for a minute there, and then I had to remove it. Yeah, no, that is That's a no the Kanye like Cuddy mix was fin- just phenomenal. I, like I really it. like personally, I liked Ye too and Daytona, but I like, like as too. projects, as projects, I felt like they're not really in the conversation. Their combo though yeah. is such a good fucking yeah, combo nah. platter. And plus, Pusha is also on, I think, with the first record off of that tape, so it was kind of like a perfect was, good yeah. music switch up. Um, so I really like that. So that definitely got uh, honorable mention there. Another but good I'm album to listen to. Sorry to cut you off. Another good album to listen to um, if you're looking for some positive shit. Yeah. Yeah. Man, another good one. It's really, like, lighthearted. And, and sometimes uh, Kanye spits. I honestly think, like, Kid See Ghost and Ye, he spits some of the best I've heard, mm. in my opinion. He just seems to be a little better, like, expressing himself in certain ways. I'm also getting, like, an old, like, graduation Kanye in some of the newer vibes. I thought he saw, mm-hmm. he shows signs of it. Yeah, so I he, like that. Yeah, he shows signs of Kate every now and then. Numero Cinco. Mm-hmm. Kamikaze. Uh, that was five? I Holy got that shit. on five, yeah. Five, because it was a great, phenomenal album, and it was fighting. Let's break it down. Yeah, Kamikaze, just because, all right, so greatest... Let's just start with the ringer. The ringer lyrically, I loved it. Loved it. lyrically, was one awesome. of the best tracks on the I've heard from Eminem in a long time. He is showing off, flexing his fucking music theory dick with the rhythm he's choosing in the beginning, just because yeah. he can do it, and then goes into <laughs> fire. <laughs> Not to mention the hard, shit man. he's saying, the bars. He's one of these people that can say even like a half corny bar and still pull it off. The ringer was hard. The sure. ringer was hard. The Greatest. Rest in peace. <laughs> I <laughs> woke up to these honky sounding like me. <laughs> that shit was too great. I like I like greatest a lot. Uh, lucky you with the joiner putting him in the fucking front row like that. Yeah. He was only one track three. It's track three. Yeah, track that three, people yeah. are gonna get to track three. It's Emma fucking M. They're gonna listen to the whole tape. So Joyner Lucas, the shine he got. For, I really appreciate that. You got to be a part of greatness. Because, Which is yeah. yeah. So Kamikaze and uh, Kod were fighting for, for, spot for the fifth five. spot. Yeah, but KOD got four. Okay. And the reason KOD got four is because while Eminem had a really dope project, he had some like weaker pro- like weaker songs off of Kamikaze. They're almost like filler Venom. tracks. What was the weakest song? Like Nice Guy and Good... Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah those were kind of like I filler agree. songs. Yeah. And then the Venom sellout at the end got like kind of pissed me off. So he got to Venom. he got to fifth because the Venom sellout. Because Ooh. you don't you don't try to make like a serious album yeah. to try to like regain your credibility and then end on like some weird poppy like buy a Pepsi note. It's just fucking strange. Like I thought that, uh, like the movie probably is gonna be all right, but dude, like you're you're Eminem. Like I want to hear a closer, like a real album. I don't want to like what is this oh, a I fucking feel you, I feel you. like you know what I mean? Is this a movie? Or, like what are you trying to do right now? So I thought the I thought he kind of fell short, but like uh, unalike or not alike was uh, we voice, we voice. Like, yeah, and I plus, like, Royce did really good on that. I like that. His yeah. flow was a little strange at times, but so was M's. Royce. I see what they're trying to do, but they also, to a degree, sound like pissy old men. So it's like... Royce and M, man. I need yeah, another... Like, I need, hey, I need another Bad Meets Evil project ASAP. <laughs> for real. If, I, if M's Honestly, dropping... For real. Next project M drops better be Bad Meets Evil. So yeah, that say, would be fire. Man. Yeah, that'd be fire. Nah, you're going to get a D12. <laughs> but nah, uh, yeah. I need a Bad Meets Evil. We already covered KOD, which was in my placement for great album i just thought with the singles off of it his his entire like attempt to personally i think when damn dropped yeah it set a whole new industry standard Mm. and kod is almost like the birth child of damn is how it feels yeah listen to him man i'm Uh, telling you because i listened to damn like intensely when it came out and then i noticed people started really upping their game when damn got his population did and and jay cole i think he's in the same conversation one of the weaker kendrick albums yeah, I would definitely disagree we'll just, just by – just well, Damn is like – you know, we could go on all day about Damn, but, like, it's personally just one of those records. It doesn't compare to Good Kid, Mad City, like, artistically at all, but – I mean, overall conceptually top three for him it was still a good album yeah to pimp yeah, a butterfly yeah, yeah. he's just he's like an amazing song album Number printing machine album yeah, he's not he's capable of giving a bad insane. one yeah he really is really just guys. fucking phenomenal even his I, saw, I think Cole, I feel like Cole's the same way yeah exactly Cole's in the conversation they sucked, yeah his yeah. the one project that that got the uh the criticism for the uh for your eyes only the one that he dropped a couple years ago yeah no that was another great album oh, great project conceptually yeah. another good one I think J Cole and Kendrick 
actively go out with the conceptual albums. Yeah. But like their delivery, I just feel like J. Cole did a lot of similarities to Damn in certain ways. Like he had certain spoken word parts that I don't know if it would have like been a there. Um, when he was like, love, money, drugs, all this. And that felt time. damn like. <laughs> feel me? Like when I was hearing that, I was like, I can understand where the influence came from. I'm um, glad we all got KOD in common. No, yeah, honestly, that because Fire Album. Shout out, I completely forgot. Um, honorable mention is fucked. We were talking about J. Cole. Let's talk about uh, someone else with Dreamville. J.I.D.? J.I.D. Yeah, J.I.D. DiCaprio 2. This right. dropped like a couple weeks just ago. Just, yeah, just dropped. So much fucking fire comes out of this little Kendrick clone. So it, um, yeah, right? He does. Well, I Kendrick's little brother. He does, yeah. Well, with the Never Story, the Never Story was 2018 as well, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, that was an honorable mention for me, but I just felt like... J.I.D. He's gonna get that like breakout single, and then he's everyone's gonna, gonna figure love out it. his star quality. If he does a track with Kendrick, the universe will the, split in half. Yo, <laughs> the comments going around is with the uh, yeah. off D's by uh, J.I.D. and J. Cole. J. Cole yeah. Is that Kendrick's gonna wake up one day and go, "What did I write this with Cole?" <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really funny because J.I.D. really does sound like Kendrick. <laughs> he does. Um, He's a fire yeah. artist in his own right with Earth Gang too. Coming in in placement three, Scorpion. By Drake Really? Yeah, okay. yeah I thought Not His bad, response to the Pusha situation Was displayed in the album Bodied Kiki is by far One of the funniest responses To someone being like Your wife's a prostitute And he's like I'm gonna make the whole world Dance and sing about her <laughs> And he did Oh in your Kiki. feelings In my feelings In my feelings Yeah my Kiki feelings is, is yeah. Yeah. Kiki do That's the street that? name <laughs> That's the street name Yeah um, There's also uh, I, I don't wanna forget But there's There's a couple of really good ones I think Emotionless Is another one that's really Emotionless good Emotionless is really good Yeah Blue Tent I still jam yeah, it all the time so. Guess who I'm fucking again? I had on. I was, yo, he ripped that shit. <laughs> nice for um, what? Eight out of ten. Nice for what? Out. Also, giant hit. I love nice for what. He's one of those people. Sorry. Like he says, he, like you know, top of the charts, yeah. back in their hearts. Like his response to the whole pusher oh, and yeah. his response, and then when he says, um, ah, lost my respect. <laughs> You're not a threat. Like just his little subtle shoots back, like while taking it very like gentleman, I would say like push it came out with some real heavy shit, and he just he did, let yeah. it roll off his shoulder, didn't really actively engage, and then put out this album, and that was his response. Good and for he Drake fucking, being the nice guy, sad boy of rap. He crushed him. He crushed him in my opinion because he did it like a subtle gentleman, and plus the tape fucking smacks, and there's a lot of songs off of it that you can just slam your head to. Ratchet birthday, I think is another good one. Mm. Um, yeah, there's a lot of really good ones I jammed to. Are Coming in at placement two. Oh, we're at two already, wow. We're at two already. Mm-hmm. Carter Five made placement two for me. We all have similar lists. This is hey, great. Yeah. I'm so happy because I was, we were talking before this about the curiosity of if we'd have overlapping albums. And we had, what, three overlapping three. albums? Yeah, so far, so far, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, Carter Five, we've already gone into it, but like just front to back, this man proved himself over and over and over and over again. Lyrically, bars, I'm still getting that love, lighthearted Wayne that I oh, always I love you. whenever I hear in tracks. His <laughs> like his wordplay is just like so I sleep with the yeah. gun and she don't snore. That was <laughs> like, my least yo. Fuck, yeah, that whole That was such a smash album. record, yeah. Yeah, well just not only uproar, but that was the, the least tape. lyrically that was the least good one though. What? But uh, with uproar. uproar. No, agreed. The beat, no, but the that's, the that's the banger. That that's the banger. That felt hard. like fucking. That was that was light. Yeah, yeah that was light. Sampled, Wayne. Yeah, I wanted light bars. Wayne and uproar. I got that. Dedicate. Dedicate. By that. far one of my favorite tracks off the whole tape. If it wasn't for Wayne, it wouldn't be. Yeah, facts though. And then also like to shoot back to Kamikaze when he was like. <laughs> and he goes, uh, imitate Lil Wayne. I should have everybody in the game. Oh. He goes, Lil Pump. Lil Xan, imitate Lil Wayne. Tell I think me. he says Lil Pump, Lil... Who the fuck else is he? Lil Yachty. I know he says yeah. he like Lil Yachty. Lil Pump and Lil something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get why people like it, but not me, though. <laughs> <laughs> but not me, though. Yeah, no. Nah, I just feel like um, Carter 2, or uh, Lil Carter Pump, 5. Lil Xan, imitate Lil Wayne. Yeah, f- fire. I just feel like Carter... Carter Five like demonstrated his placement in the game, yeah. why he's so important, and mm-hmm. why he is gonna continue to just murder. Yeah, Carter Five was a great project, man. Coming in at number one. Bum, ba-dum, 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 
Meek Mill's championship. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, no We're shit. We're freaking talking 100%. now. 100%. Talk it's about you. it. Talk about it. There's so Just much. Go. First off, lyrically, never heard Meek better. Yeah. Oh. With his flows, with the way he's so aggressive, he's hungry, he's fresh out of jail, the whole story behind the album, the way he bounced back. They don't mm. kill you anymore. They just take it out of your account. I'm hearing real shit from Meek Mill, and I know he used to do real shit because I can always. tell on this record. Always do. But you really, you always, he always has been hype guy. Yeah. But now I'm getting hype and real Meek. Yeah. So Someone who's a human being coming at the audience in such a real yeah, way. Yo. Tell you, man, Meek's like a hip hop activist right now. You see him on CNN, That's what I'm you see saying. him on Fox yeah. News, saying everywhere talking. That's why he got number one because it, it's by <laughs> far, by far one of just like, and also just like every song, I was just like, damn, That's impressive, damn, damn. Yes. Like, I just kept getting that feeling, and I feel like Meek usually gives me a really good feeling when I hear the tapes. Yes, but like for some reason, Championships just felt like a comeback story. Fire, man. Telling it felt him. like the best. So, yeah, that's oh, why I got hey, one. Good list. And I'm sorry for M for getting placement on five, but I mean, that's shit, not, you're top five. Still like, top five. Yeah. Mean. But, yeah. like, it was hard for me. It was between him and Wayne. I just thought, yeah. I thought Carter Five might have slightly got the edge over him. No, 100%. But, I, but, but it was. I know that I'll listen to Carter Five over Kamikaze. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was like, like, I'll was, put on Greatest. I'll put on the ringer maybe. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, but I feel like Lil Wayne has those jams. Like Lil you never Wayne hear him and I'm on the radio, which is what um nah, came but he came out recently. Was it Gucci? Gucci came out and was like, I yeah. don't listen to Eminem in the car, so he's not the greatest. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Gucci, Gucci that's a pretty that? decent argument, like that no one listens oh. to him in the car because he doesn't have those five tracks. Really, oh, he said that? Was it Gucci or someone else? Was it was it Gucci or someone else? I don't know. I feel like I hold. Let me look. I'm um, say guys didn't listen to Meek. No, album. wait. Are you talking about that? Uh, what was it Rosenberg from High Nine Seven? No, like it just happened. It wasn't that long ago. Yeah, Gucci Mane disses Eminem. Says he's not even close to being God, the king guys, of hip hop. Guys, I didn't listen to Meek's oh. album. You didn't listen to Jamie and Oh, you gotta hear that shit. Oh, dude, you gotta, you gotta go, bro. All right, man. You gotta go. <laughs> you he gotta go listen to. If you're listening to this. Just know you have homework if you haven't heard these albums. <laughs> yeah, no, for, no, honestly, there's yeah, so many so great good. albums that were dropped this year, but I just felt like Championships, Carter yeah. Five, this Kamikaze, a, Scorpion, this was a big year. AOD, was a great year. Honestly, a of, yeah, a lot of comebacks, man. A lot of comebacks. Meek. Daytona was pretty good. It got the Daytona honorable. was good, yeah. yeah. It's just too short. It was short, yeah, but that, they were to trying to do the whole seven 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 thing, which is like I yeah. get you're trying to be God and Jesus or whatever, but like, can you stop? Can you just make fucking music and make yeah, it good? You like, know, I get it. But. Push is like it's a surgical summer, not apparently because Drake came in and was just like, well, your scissors hit a brick wall. <laughs> I'm not push even gonna it, react. Push it hard like this year though. Push it did come hard, but it was yeah, on man. the principle of taking Drake down, which Kanye went through all this extra effort. That's you can't take Drake thing. down though. He's you just too big. Drake down. Yo, let's he's too big. Let Kanye. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Where the love go? <laughs> why, why, you, why are you tag teaming with little idiot and making songs like I love it? Yeah, what the fuck kind of artistic uh, move was that? Am dude? I the only one actually? What type of artistic? <laughs> well, it grew on me, but so no, is a tumor. It's catchy as hell, It's fucking bro. Brr, brr, brr. Yeah, great. That beat it's is dope. Catchy. It's a catchy it's beat. Really groovy. But what's happening in it is fucking garbage. It's the beat, and then he's going on like, oh, she does coke. Sick. I love I it. I like Yay. it quick, fuck. <laughs> That's the shit, yeah, but like Kanye's the only reason that record's popping. Yeah, yeah. like and no, that was catchy. even Pop when was he's record. talking about bullshit of the most bullshit, he's still cutting it up and presenting it in a good way. Yeah. I'm not hearing mumble rap from Kanye. I hear Kanye rapping about ill. Pump yeah. was on the hook, right? Yeah, Pump was the fucking first verse. I love it. No, I don't even think he sings on the hook. I think it was just Kanye with auto tune. Yeah. <clears throat> that was it's hard, Pump. It's hard to tell because they all use auto tune. Also, so it's like, oh, Kanye well, these are going to be 17 yeah. different rappers. Was on, um, <laughs> was on Dummy Boy twice. Yeah. Six, nine. Also, oh, he was. Yeah, I yeah. think Kanye's just trying to stay relevant. He picks artists that he knows are going to be very yeah, relevant. Well, with these new guys. What, yeah. What's weird, yeah. guys. He's going to be collabing with Travis Scott so if he hasn't that. already. We Drake's supposed the same thing. to uh, have a third Kanye album this year. And, um, he better with these what seven What the fuck track happened drops. to uh, Yandi? Yeah, Yandi well, was uh, supposed to have been dropped last month, November. Yandi being... Yeah. That was going to be an album, album after yeah, Yeet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> uh, yay. <laughs> Honestly, I thought Yay was pretty good. Uh, I mean, it just felt like there was uh, things lacking. My favorite song it. on there was Yikes. That supposedly Drake was one uh, was the one who wrote the record. <laughs> Boop diddy scoop. Yeah, honestly, fuck him for that move. Because like, <laughs> if Drake's telling the truth and Kanye straight up just dropped the tape saying some nonsense bullshit, and I'm pretty sure it's a music video. Yeah, that was the li- lift yourself. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, he, yeah. he's saying poop diddy scoop. Crap, poop diddy scoop. Poop. Was that before or after poop, childish? That was the beat that Drake said he was supposed to. Have. Well, was that before or after the childish uh, parody? 
Um, you know how Donald Glover did the fucking, oh. uh, he did like the lost thing where you talk about um, Kanye and you get sucked in by the machine or like the, the uh, monster. And then at the end he was like, poop, did he scoop in the headphones? And then. <laughs> <laughs> Is that was that before or after that track? Cause I don't know. Did Childish uh, make that, and then Kanye was like, "Fuck it, that was popular. I'm gonna make that song and a vid- video." Like, I'm not sure. They, none of them said you know. anything about about Childish, though. So um, no, it wasn't about Childish. Childish was a writer for I forget the only SNL or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Thirty and, Rock. Uh, okay. With Thirty yeah, Rock. Parks and Rock. Well, yeah, no, he was a writer for Thirty, yeah, 30 Rock, Rock, but like when he made the skit, it was for SNL. Yeah, no, because he wrote the skit for SNL. I'm pretty sure, and the skit's about Kanye. It's called Kanye Plays. It's a parody of Lost Boys um, or something. That's a I uh, have an interesting transition point, boys. Yeah. Uh, we speak uh-huh. of Childish Gambino. Let's talk Did about. He drop this year? Mm, let's talk about Feels Like Summer. Oh, okay, that's a okay. beautiful fucking music video. There was a two-track EP, I guess you'd call it. That'd that he be dropped. an app. Yeah, that'd be an app. And he. I um, hate those. Yeah. He made Magic or Summer Like Magic, and then Feels Like Summer. Yeah. yeah. And both tracks are fire. One's a very happy song, and then the other's like way more of like a conscious that's a jam. Definitely. But the music video for Feels Like Summer, by far one of the best music videos, animating wise. This ever is a big seen. step for 2018. Big yeah. year for music videos. Some creative thoughts are really being explored. Yeah, you're, you're getting people breaking down walls that were never even attempted to be broken down before psychologically yeah yeah it's pretty crazy time to be alive <laughs> as drake would say <laughs> <laughs> what a time what a time to be alive uh, through this shit. also i can't remember if it was earlier this year it was earlier this year fuck that this is america yeah yeah another fantastic really single really i mean rap that. has been really popping honestly uh well bent bent a little beer bongs and bentley's yeah beer bongs and bentley's by post malone another really good one i forgot to put that on my honorables but yeah that one another really really good tape Mm -hmm. that i think every single song off of that tape was number one on the charts at one point out of the 17 16 were doesn't doesn't surprise me that's phenomenal as weird as the kid is he is changing the game yeah he changed it heavy unexpectedly now post is post is mad talented if you subtract migos and post malone from the equation of hip-hop most of these dudes wouldn't exist. Yeah, that are out right now. For real, hmm. I don't even know if there'd be a little Uzi yeah, Vert. There, are, um, interesting singles and all the <laughs> singles that come out this year obviously are with um, music videos. So you're seeing a lot of um, interesting intros to artists. Like uh, we mentioned, Post Malone influencing people. You hear stuff like Juice World with Lucid Dream. Yeah, another guy. Yeah, that's right. it blew yeah. up. Good for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's like, that's the trend. You release a single, you release the music video, and we got a lot of them. Would yeah. we have a triple X? Would we have a triple X? He's if there a, was no, like. I didn't care about no, him. Yeah, he was Even a like a Drake. Though. I feel like um, a Drake or a Childish Gambino could inspire a triple X. I feel like a Kanye would inspire a triple X. That too. I feel like Kanye is massively inspirational. He, a lot of people are very, like, outwardly expressive because that's how he was in the older records. Yeah. And he, I, he, I think that's what went to his head. I feel like he's just like, I'm the fucking best because everyone thinks that I'm the best. And uh, I don't think everyone thinks he's the best. I think well, he, he, I think he people, thinks though. everyone thinks he's a fucking genius or something. He's I don't know. I subscribe to Kanye. He influenced a lot of people, though. He's an attention grabber to some degree. When he went at Ariana he's Grande. He's a gay fish. He's a gay fish. He likes fish sticks. Um, <laughs> no, there's, there's just a level of like, I don't know. There's a professionalism you're supposed to have. And Kanye just doesn't seem to give a shit about that. Nope. And Drake does. So, like, if we're going in who's taking it better, like, who's being more of a man, who's dropping harder material, and who's speaking with the music and not with, like, weird tactics, like a fucking weird high schooler or something, like, Mm -hmm. come over and make this song. (laughs) Haha, I've released a goof song. (laughs) Like, just to make you feel shitty because you were supposed to write to this Uh, or you were writing to this. He just wasted Drake's time, and I'm like, I'm not Drake, obviously. But I can pretty much guess he's he's probably pretty busy. Yeah. Having his time wasted like that is definitely aggravating. And Kanye probably understands that because he's also probably very busy. <laughs> very true. Um, Ariana Grande, you mentioned she just uh, dropped Thank You Next music video. Phenomenal. Um, very, very good. Uh, obviously taking off of all the chick flicks of back in the day, like Mean Girls. <laughs> Nostalgia absolutely playing factor in that music video. Oh, yeah. Send us memes. We like memes. I, uh, I think... It is time to go around and do our plugs. Oh, plugs. Starting to my left. Hi, I'm uh, I'm to the left. It's your boy, Papa J all day, Jordan Griffith. Um, you know, 
I'm taking a lot of pictures of people now lately. Uh, so that's what I do. <laughs> I take pictures of people. We gonna start recording some shit. Um, me and Nick have been cooking in our time off. We've been cooking on some hot projects. Many, many possible shows in the future. Mm. Uh, episodes of Who That? Who in That? The future. Mm. Uh, episodes of you know some stuff and things and maybe some stuff you can wear <laughs> possibility I'm just saying but yeah you know you can find my Facebook page Papa J um, my Instagram Papa J all day underscores are in there somewhere but yeah I love you people have a good <laughs> new year <laughs> I'll put everything in the description <laughs> to my right yo <laughs> tell them who it is your boy New Breed. New, new Breed. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dropped a whole lot of music this year. Yeah, you Hell did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, probably my most productive year in years. Fuck so you yes. can check all that shit out on SoundCloud.com slash New New Breed. Do yes. not sleep on New New Breed. That's right. You can go to coming up. You can go to Twitter and Instagram at New New Breed. You see everything on there, too. Um... Did a big, big record this year. Also with Nick Nels on it as well. Whoa, what? With, uh, who's, with, who's it with? Who's it with? Tell the people. Oh, it was with yeah, uh, oh my God, that. King Crooked. Whoa, oh, shit. no way. <laughs> the King Crooked? Yeah. You mean from Slaughterhouse? That's like with right. Eminem? That's what? right. What? <laughs> and did he slap that verse silly? He did. Yeah, did he, did. he absolutely kill it? <laughs> he oh, he shit. wiped his dick on that you 32 that or out. 64, whatever, the fuck, whatever he brought to the table. It was fine. Six, uh, over six minutes long of just lyricism, the bar fest. Featuring our boy. Rap. Flo is also Jeez. on the record. Flo. He's the second verse on it. Yeah, he is. He kills that shit too. Damn right. So check that shit out. It's called Raps Meanest. Raps Meanest. Yeah. Everywhere. Apple Music, Spotify, everywhere you can possibly bring yourself to listen to music. That is right. So you can go to my, like I said, go to my Instagram, at New New Breed. Link is in bio. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's your boy Nick Nubs. Who that? Who that? <laughs> uh, I just dropped an album called Two Weeks Off, available on Spotify, Apple Music, you name it. Also, the entire album is on YouTube. Hey. The website's constantly getting updated. We're doing nothing but plotting for music videos if and more. If you see us, find us. Get a business card. They're cool. Oh, yeah. We about to get them new ones. It's just going to be too fire. Uh, we have a lot of artists coming up. We have Revival. Oh we have God. Menace. Oh, my God. We absolutely have we got that heat we got that heat heat the flame another fantastic one uh we got king deuce mm -hmm. wicked the prodigy son and god's gift to green earth preach green black, black. <laughs> we got yo we got a wall covered in fucking names you don't understand yeah i'm, I'm trying to look behind me while doing this we also got youtube series coming up we got our own shows coming out i don't know if you guys are a fan of wwe or anything ding, else ding, 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 ding. Of the nature of <laughs> psychology within the mind of one Papa J. However, he is going to be doing his own thing, rolling solo. Perhaps our friend Glenn Roy will be doing a sports thing because he's all about basketball. He ball, ball is like. This man hoops like he raps. <laughs> going hard. Nick's going to have I an existential you. crisis on the <laughs> mic. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to have the uh, stupid little rant thing. And uh, that should be fun. People like when I go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so that should be a good time. Um, Why are you yelling at the mic? Why are you yelling, yelling at the at mic? The mic. <laughs> Fucking beard's beard, weird. Beard, beard, All right, beard. hold up. Before wait. before we close this out, let's hey, just comment. Hey. Rest in peace. Wait, no, no. We lost a lot of people. We I can't lost let a lot you guys of people this year. <laughs> we lost a lot of people this year. But first you. of all, rest in peace, Machine Yo, Gun Kelly. I, I can't let y'all do that, man. <laughs> I might be the only MGK fan in this room. I'm an MGK fan, but the man he's become, I'm not a fan of. Kill shot. Yeah, because MGK Was used to be much shot. more fire. Really? But yeah, and yo, know, you're telling me binge wasn't. No, no, binge, binge, binge wasn't very. Fucking wasn't very trash, good. dude. How are you gonna diss Rap him Devil and then drop that, dude? Song. That was trash. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, auto tune trash. And then he's like, "How are you gonna call me a mumble rapper?" And then put out a whole mumble ma like rapper record. I mean, I mean, he wasn't mumbling on it, but I get what they're saying because it was auto tune dude, way, which is what's do you called remember, mumble. Uh, the mumble. I'm trying to think of the name of the song he did, but um. Rap Fuck. Devil was a freaking hard diss. I actually no, it was one of the hardest disses to Eminem ever. Right. But Kill Shot was a harder. But Kill Shot fucking silenced him, in my opinion. And Jordan's, I think, because if you look at lyrically what he did to him, 
He deconstructed. That's the thing, though. Every or he deconstructed yeah. every single point he made. But he's not a. And he yeah. squashed him. He said, "Keep my name out of your mouth and, and you keep my do- daughter's name out of your mouth. Yeah. And keep my dick in it." That That's like, that is was a, the end of the record. Yeah. You can't close someone out harder. But you can't knew. He knew though. All he was doing was just getting his piece out. He's when he dropped Rat Devil. He All knew because right, yeah. he says in the song, he says, "Yeah, I'll, I'll acknowledge you're the goat." Uh, he said some shit after that I forgot Yeah I know But he but also He knows You can't diss Eminem And then give him ammunition You're retarded Like to, Just alright Just to be real hey, I'll give him credit man He gets a W my book For stepping up No he stepped Okay yeah, he nobody steps else up uh, You know he I will recognize that Balls, I was tired, balls were everybody. definitely no, there I was tired balls. of people he's Just bowing balls. down to this man Like say some shit and that, you, Listen I understand that. <laughs> Y'all heard me shit that. on Revival yeah. not, not the artist But and the album Lord You thought that was bad If Joe was not retired right now Oh my god. Why do you think he retired He's been retired though Yeah why do you think He's not coming out of it uh, he he says he's double rap. He's focused yeah. on his media shit. Exactly. He's more focused on shit talking. He just. Uh, just I think that if Joe shit. Rogan comes out of retirement, but in, starts but in. <laughs> he said Rogan. <laughs> I know what I said. But in. I know what I said. Oh, you know what you said. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but in man, but yeah, he's never gonna come out. Do you think retirement. he'll actually come back at him ever? He won't. No. But if he was not retired right he's, now, let's believe M would have run for his. His money. angry ass beard's gonna talk in some podcasts. That's about it. They no, don't understand. M's it. already an open target. But, I felt like but when MGK went at him, he used mostly memes and like. He, I loved Rad Devil. I thought he killed it. Yeah, he went hard. Absolutely. Even Evan admitted that he did a good job. No, he did a good job. Should've he did a, good a man job, bun. But that's all you. That's all you <laughs> get when your response is you got the Diddy okay to shoot the video. And that he fucking you, you got you were holding the shovel to dig your own grave. Mm. That he's only seen Eight Mile on a Norder track because he was at home on his treadmill. Yeah, treadmill yeah. He forgot. He remembered. He had, forgot to call you. <laughs> he fucking, he I like a little Haley line said. in the beginning. He did. Yeah. That was in reference to um, the record M had on the Eminem show. Yeah. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. It. yeah. I, I like going the, crazy. Yeah, I like the fucking the No, he referenced that He referenced not a There's some nice bars in there they, Yo, are you kidding me? No, he has some good ones He has some slick ass lines I wish you there. lost yourself To the records you made 10 years ago You lose yourself In the records you made Yeah, I wish you'd lose yourself yeah. So like, I feel like th- Those are definitely good bars But M coming back And hitting him with the Jada kiss Fucking six way entendre Like, dude The amount of layers M put into that disc Almost what sounds like Effortlessly yeah. I feel like MGK knows he doesn't want it, and that's why he was. No, he knew. Oh, he I knew. put my clip right back, but you lost. He, he lost knew. if that's your response. If your he response just, is, "Oh shit, nah, not another one," you lost. He knew, no, but he knew that already. He just wanted to come in. He got a couple jabs into the face, and he and he knew. He just and he knew. He didn't walk away scot free though. You know, no, nah, M, M had to drop something bad. He couldn't just let that fly. Yeah, We're but the thing is, like. People like how the market reacted. People were like, "Ah, that's but I mean, MGK is a, a bitch." <laughs> but you know, it's, it's hard when you're going up against such a mega star. Exactly, that's why you don't. It really doesn't matter. That's why you don't fucking do nah, that. Nah, I applaud. The, I applaud. For, uh, what's the name? Trying to hand some smoke. I like that. Nah, I he like that. he handed a little smoke and he handed him back like way way more in return. Like it was just not even. Close. Yo, this year was crazy, guys. Yeah, it this was, year was man. crazy. Yo, we, could, we could talk about this another day. There's a whole lot of beasts and shit this year too, man. Beefs and shit. Like beefs. beefs. Oh, beefs. Yeah, hold on. Mm, delicious yeah, beef. Man. Yeah, honestly, we could definitely do another one. Uh, well, we just talked about a few. The anyways. best beefs in hip hop. Yeah. Ooh. I like that. Ooh. I like that. All right, tune in next week for the best beefs <laughs> in hip hop. Uh, that has been our time. We are bullshit breakdown. Happy New Year's and happy holidays. Yeah, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Yay. Uh, happy. I do that. And happy whatever else there is in Ramadan. Yeah, Ramadan. <laughs> I'm sure that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> we out. Whoa.